Hi friends, this is Bakapa. In this Playwright session, we are going to see how to automate Microsoft D365 CRM application using Playwright. So before we get into this session, if you don't know much about the Playwright, I would highly recommend you to go to the youtube.com and search with Playwright by Tester Stock and then you will get the one playlist called Playwright by Tester Stock. So you can watch one by one all the tutorials in this playlist and then you can come back to the this particular tutorial so that you will be understanding very well. So in this Playwright session right so I will be going through the this CRM D365 Playwright automation framework then later we will understand how you can execute the Playwright automation test and as well as how you can create the automation test for the CRM application. So let's go through this framework one by one folders. So first folder is globals. We have the two full uh, two files. Sorry. So we have the two files. One is global setup and another one is global tear down. So in this global setup, we have written written a code to read the all the configurations from the env file and also we have the code to which is going to open the browser and which is going to log in into the application so this is a only one time activity that means this particular function will be getting executed only one time then it will execute all the automation test and finally it will it is going to execute the global tear down function guys so in this function we have we have not done anything much here just we are writing the one console statement here so most of the code has written inside the global setup so that is going to launch the browser and which is going to login into the application and also it is going to save the application state as well and coming to the next folder node underscore models so this particular model contains the packages plugins libraries which are related to the JavaScript and Playwright. So by using them so that we can write our Playwright automation test. And coming to the next folder, Playwright hyphen report. So whenever we execute any automation test, so we Playwright will generate the one report called index.html. So in that report, you will be able to see the how many test cases are passed, how many are failed and how many are skipped. And also you can see the total number of automation tests. So you can check out those results inside the HTML report. And next we have the selectors. So in this common selectors.json file, so we have created the object repository. So by using all these object repository, we are going to perform the actions on the Microsoft D365 CRM application. And that's it about the selectors folder. And next we have the storage state. So whenever we log in into the CRM application, so we are saving the state of the application in application in the sense. So we are not logging in into the application multiple times. So only one time global setup will be executed. And in this case, we are logging, logging in into the application only one time. So that storage state will be saved in this particular JSON file. And coming to the next one, test hyphen results. So whenever you capture any screenshots, whenever you record the test case execution, or whenever you are going to save the traces, all those will be coming into in coming into the test hyphen results folder. So if you have enabled all those features in this Playwright automation framework. And next folder we have we have is tests. So inside the tests, so actually we are implementing the Playwright automation test. So you can create the files which is ending with .spec.js file. And next folder we have is utils. So utils folder contains two JS file. One is common.js file. So in this JS, JS file, we have written multiple functions that is going to support for the, to automate the CRM application. And also we have the another JS file. So mainly we are using this particular JS file for the 
logging in into the application and next we have the dot env file so this is where exactly we are keeping the all the details such as url username password and what is the app id and also we are keeping the some of the details so these are not required to keep in this file so you can keep it in different file as well but here so four details are very important here guys so first top four de four details are very important to launch the browser and to enter the url and enter the username password and going to the particular crm application so top four details are very important in our case so rest of the details you can maintain wherever you want so that is an optional thing for you guys so in my case just i have added just two details here case number and case details and that's it guys so that is all about the env file so that is one of the important file to launch the browser and login into the crm application and next we have the package.json file so in this json file you will find all the dependency details and also this file will be used to run the playwright automation test using the azure devops as well and coming to the playwright.config file so in this file we are mentioning all the details where where exactly our tests are available and what is the test execution time and whether we want to run the our tests parallelly or not so whether we want to retry the failed automation test automatically or not so those kind of many parameters are configured in this playwright configurations so there are multiple configurations which will be driving for the playwright automation test execution so those details are available in this playwright.config.js file so far you have seen playwright automation framework now let's try to run the few scenarios in the dynamics 365 crm application so we will see the very first scenario is uh, how to create the case using playwright automation tool so we will log in into the crm application and firstly it navigates to the this particular home page once we log in into the application so this home page will be displayed so we will go to the cases entity under the service then we will click on the new case then in this form so we are entering some some of the mandatory details so one is case case title and second one is we are going to select the customer from the lookup field and then finally we are entering the description then we are going to save the record so this is the scenario guys so let's run the this scenario from the playwright automation tool so here i will go to the testing so let's go to the spec file so under the case uh, sorry guys so under the case create dot spec dot js file so we have one test called create case so simply i will run the test firstly our test will log in into the application then it will start executing the business flow so that's it guys login is completed and now we are going to open the customer service hub so if you see here guys so we have opened the customer service hub and then it will navigate to the case new case and it is going to fill all the case details it is going to save the record so that's it guys once the execution is completed so in the console output you will be able to see the case number also so this particular case got created so let's take this case number so let's try to search it in the microsoft d365 crm application so simply i'll search with the case number and if you see here guys the case whatever has created by using the playwright automation the case is present here right now let's run the second use case the use case is it is going to update the existing case guys so let's navigate to the crm application so i will show you the manual scenario so firstly we will be there inside the home page 
and we will navigate to the cases entity inside the service and after that so we are going to select the one view called all cases and after that we are going to click on the edit filter and here we are adding the filter criteria then we are going to click on the apply button then we will get the only one single case and we will go inside the case details and here we are checking some conditions and once the condition is met so after that we are going to update the description details so let's navigate to the vs code now so here i will open the case update spec file and here we are navigating to the app and after that we are using the case number from the env file and after that as i said we are selecting the all cases view all cases view and after that we are going to perform the advanced filter so we are going to edit click on the edit filters and once we add all the criteria so we will get the one result so we are going to open that record so here we are checking some conditions so if condition is met it will go inside this particular if condition and if not so it is going to update the existing case details with the description so with the updated description then we are going to save the record so that's it guys now let's run the test so firstly our test should log in into the crm application so it is able to enter the username and password then it has to navigate to the customer service hub so it is navigated to the appropriate app in the crm then it goes to the cases entity then it has to select all cases as a view and then we need to add the filter criteria with the case number then we got the case so we are going inside the case details and at the end we are going to update the description details and also we are going to save the record and also here you can see that so our test is getting passed now let's run the third use case where we are resolving the case so i will run the test now so which is, which is going to log in into the application and after that it goes to the appropriate app and it goes to the appropriate entity and it searches for the existing case and then it is going to resolve the case so now we are navigating into the customer service hub app then we navigate it into the entity so now we have to select the view and we have to put the appropriate filter to get the case then we open the case details then we are clicking on the resolve case and that's it guys so our test is perfectly working fine so we are able to create the case and we are also able to update the case and also finally we are resolving the case by using the playwright automation tool